clay is a forgiving medium. So let's say, kunyari, you're not happy with your piece, you can always like destroy it. Ah! <laughs> you know, you destroy this. And then, and then, and then later on, pwede na siya gamitin ulit. So we'll go through a lecture. Tapos, we'll go through clay preparation. Per prepare natin yung balls of clay. And then after that, I'll do a demo on the wheel. And then after none, we'll do everything all together. Yeah? So have a seat here muna. It starts off as your wet or your plastic clay. So this is stoneware clay. There are many different kinds of clay. There's terracotta, yung orange ones, there's porcelain. But stoneware clay is one of the most versatile types of clay to work with. It's one of the easiest ones to throw. So it starts off as that. We keep it in a plastic bag all the time because we want the moisture from escaping the clay. Because clay dries up really fast. So habang hindi natin siya ginagamit, we always keep it sealed to keep the moisture in. So after that, we'll throw it on the wheel and then you'll get to form something like this. With the wheel, we get to make cylindrical forms. Plates, bowls, cups, uh, mugs. So for the crash course, we'll focus on this stage first. Because wheel throwing takes a lot of um, practice. So it's good that we get to focus on this. Because think of it as learning how to ride a bike for the first time or learning an instrument for the first time. Preparation basically first we need or wedge our clay. So when you're wedging clay, it's pretty much the same as um, wedging bread. You we want to get rid of those air pockets. So to do that, posture one foot in front of the other, and then what you do is patayu muna yung clay. So you'll pull it towards you with your, your your fingers and then push with your palm. Okay? So push forward, push. And then when it gets long enough, flip it the other side, and then pull, and then push again. Yeah. After that, we'll compress it into a block. On your last wedge, think of it as parang if we form na natin so into a brick. After that, we'll tap the sides, and then we'll slam it on four corners. Actually, slamming your clay also helps because the pressure for slamming it will also like compress your clay. So four sides, one. Two, three, four, and then tap the sides. After that, we'll cut it into three equal pieces. This is your toggle wire. This is used to cut clay. We're gonna mark two sections. One, two. Anchor one finger on one side, and then slice with the other one. Para you get a clean cut. And lightly tap the corners. Para pumasok siya into a circular form. Hindi really just gently tap the sides. Hanggan sa bumilog siya. Once you have your three balls, babalik naman natin siya inside the plastic bag again. So we only take out the piece that we use. Okay. So this is your potter's wheel. So first position. You want to make sure that you're kind of close enough to the wheel. So that when you position your arms, center, na dito siya sa gitna. And then keep in mind, you have to keep your spine aligned all the time. From the bottom of your spine to your head, derecho. Try not to hunch down because it's very unhealthy. This is your splash bin, your wheel head, your foot pedal. So you want your knees na nakadikit dito sa splash bin. And then, rule of thumb is that you keep your elbows glued onto your knees all the time. Because this is like your anchor. So, ito yung steps natin. First, we'll attach the ball of clay into the wheel head. So, first, your ball of clay, kanita na ka-ball siya. Ako, I like tapping the sides, guide ko yung ilalim, to kind of form it into an oval shape. So, mahaba. And then, pag slam, dome siya. Okay, we want to throw this as centered as possible. So, aim, and then... Spin it at the lowest speed and then cuff your hands, naka elbows down, and then start tapping rhythmically. 
And then when you're doing this, making sure na makukuha natin yung taas. Mm. And then also the sides. I, ako personally, what I do, I dip my finger in water, pinch here, press down here, and then spin it. Yan, to completely lock yung ilalim. There. And then, is to squeeze up natin siya in, until it turns into a cone. So first, soak your hands in water. Make sure basang basa talaga. So first, leading again with this part, squeeze and then let the wheel spin. So if kunyari you feel friction from the clay or mainat, ibig sabihin it needs more water. Pero soak your hands in water lang sao sao, and then keep constantly squeezing. <coughs> So stay here for as long as you need. You know you're centered. Pag hindi na lumalaban yung clay sa hands. Pag parang sumusunod na lang siya sa shape. Tapos laging thumbs up. Kasi if you can, if you restrain it here, hindi siya aangat. And then when you're lifting, make sure lift nyo siya nice and steady. Lifting, going up. There. This is essentially your cone. Nice. Good. Okay. After we turn it into a cone, we'll force it down ulit into a dome, centering our clay. So centering is essentially forcing your clay towards the center of the wheel. So spin slowly, push forward and down. Ako, what I also like to do is I put my left hand here by the side and then I use this part of my hand to push this down. This way, flat yung sa ibabaw nyo. There. Yan. So now you have your centered clay. So this is where the fun part starts. Good. Nice and centered. Okay. Yan. Okay. I feel like you're centered. Lumalaban pa ba? Lumalaban pa ba o OC ka lang? <laughs> After nyan, we'll poke a hole in the middle. Deepen that hole. Open up our clay. And then we'll start forming it. So we're gonna pull the walls. So when we say pulling in pottery terms, it's not the same as pulling a piece of rope. It's pulling your clay up for a certain direction. Our right hand positioned here, resting lang, not touching your dome. And then thumb will go in the middle. Drill down until your first knuckle. Puncture down. There. So open na siya. Now, after that, I'm going to angle my thumb. Kanina nakaganto siya. This way naman. Kasi, when you open it up, you want that shelf inside, okay? And then slowly, pull to the right side. How much you open this up will determine how wide your piece is. So now, we'll start lifting the walls of our clay. So, ang cylinder, meron siyang anatomy. This is your base, these are the walls, and then this is the lip. Okay, to lift, the walls. So first, make sure that when the wheel spins, hindi kayo sasama. Okay? Make sure that you're nice and secured here. Okay? I'll spin. So better to do this slowly. And then when you're lifting, yung pressure mas nasa labas. You want to squeeze the clay from the outer side up. And then yung inner finger is just a ruler. You'll feel the clay naman eh. Ma-feel nyo na umaangat yung clay. And then you'll even feel it kung saan siya makapal. So that's where, where you want to squeeze more. So your clay can take about maybe six lifts or depending on how much water you put on it. So the more water you add, the more fragile it gets. After that, we'll just keep lifting and pulling until we reach our desired form. So instead of exerting the force in outer finger, I, outer finger I'll pu push with my inner finger more. So when you do that, you actually open it up and turn it into a bowl. Oh. So this is how you make bowls. But let's say this isn't your intention. You wanted to make a cup. So you can always uh, choke it. So hold it by the sides, thumbs up. And then you'll slowly guide your clay back to form. Squeezing from the bottom. And then lift both hands. Pag medyo bumabalik na siya to form, and then mag close mo ulit siya. Then high stop. Yeah, wider na siya. Do kasi if go back to the rib, slowly spin slowly. <laughs> Elbow down. 
And then with this wooden tool, tatanggalin natin yung excess uh, parts sa ilalim. Kasi you want your cup parang nice and rounded with a sexy shape. So to do that, hold this like a pencil. And then, pupuesto ko siya here. Okay? So as it spins, this one here. As it spins, yung tip will slowly dig in. And rounding out the bottom, taking out any unnecessary parts. Yeah, there. We'll cut it out of the wheel and then you have your piece. So again, hold it by the two ends and then twirl. So you want to make sure it's long enough to cover yung piece. No? Pero you don't want it too long kasi parang just enough for you to be able to control. And then thumbs anchored down, making sure that this won't lift. So I'll spin it at the slowest speed. Relax lang. <laughs> and then start to pull. Oh my god. Stop. Pag sumama, just stop. And then pull this out. Okay. Pero ideally, you size it off ng derecho. And then, just touching the yung base, you will slide it off the wheel head. Minsan, it will deform your shape. But don't worry, that's gonna come back. So, and then pull out. And then catch with your under head. And then you have your piece. MG, bakit ko ba yung binanggit? Nagjo-joke lang naman ako. Parang makakagawa na ako ng picture. Ay! Pwede natin i-push. Push na. Kaya yan. Pero sila teachers, sobrang game sila. Sa challenge na mag pat, magturo ng pitchel sa beginner. OMG! <laughs> uh, yes, definitely. Kasi kailangan talaga ng support nila teacher. And then, katulad nga na sabi nila teacher, wala ka nang ibang iisipin, kundi OMG Center ba siya? So, lahat ng focus mo nasa hands lang talaga. Like, talagang maglalaho, the parang bula lahat ng iniisip mo. <laughs> Nag-short circuit yung brain ko kasi na iniisip. <laughs> like, yung, yung this, yung pedal, tapos yung speed niya, tapos yung pressure sa, sa which part of the hand. Tapos, Tapos ano, hindi ko alam kung kung kailan ko siya i-mold ng maayos or yaan ko lang siya sumunod sa akin. Does that make sense? Ang oh, saya. Gusto ko nang ganito sa bahay. So, sabi ni the teacher, babasain dapat entire thing and then fold it. Dapat thumbs down, breathe, elbows on the knees and then slowly Oh my god! Oh! Okay, then it's up.